Okay, hi there and welcome to another video. Uh, again, we're making a distinction between two concepts here to help with our microeconomics revision. This video takes you through the distinction between normal and abnormal profit. Uh, in 2018, these were the most profitable companies in the world. Apple, for many, many years, has been known as the world's most profitable company. But it looks from this chart as if those days are over. Uh, the Saudi state oil company, Saudi Almaco, uh, has disclosed profits substantially above that of Apple. And then you've got some big businesses underneath. Samsung, uh, third in the list. Alfred, of course, is Google. Shell, Exxon. Uh, G2G just missed off this chart, sadly, this year. So, important to distinguish between normal and abnormal profit. Basically, uh, when a firm makes normal profit, we say the economic profit is zero. Why is that the case? Well, when calculating cost, economists include the classic cost, interest on loans, wages, raw materials, rent, energy bills. They include those internal costs, but they also include the opportunity cost of using factors of production or using finance to fund a business. So if I put £100,000 into a business, I need at least, let's say, 3% return because I could have put that money or put bought some factors of production to earn an alternative return, put the money in a bank or put the money in some other activity. So the opportunity cost, the next best alternative that factor inputs could have been used for is included in cost. Now, when the revenue is compared with cost, broadly defined, so internal cost plus opportunity cost. If the two are the same, then we say that a normal profit is being earned. Basically, if you cover your costs, including opportunity cost, then you're making normal profit. And the best definition to use in the exam is that normal profit is the minimum return needed to keep factors of production in their present industry, in their present use. Abnormal means better than normal. So if the revenue exceeds cost, the business is making in excess of what it needs to keep it in its current activity. So we call it abnormal or super normal profit. And that happens when the price per unit is greater than the cost per unit. It's also known as economic profit. And typically we associate abnormal profit with imperfect competition, such as monopoly, duopoly, an oligopoly in all three cases, businesses with market power are able to make abnormal profit in the long run. Well, let's have a look at the, the diagrams here. Quite important to draw really good diagrams. Half a side of A4 for your diagrams, please make them really clear. Draw to the axes. So here's abnormal profit. Here's a downward sloping demand curve, fairly elastic. The profit maximizing output is shown in the green circle there. That's where marginal cost meets marginal revenue. The firm can charge a price P1 using the demand curve. The cost per unit is C1. So therefore the price is greater than the cost. Hence, they're making some abnormal profit or super normal profit. However, they could go beyond that point. Where do they make normal profit? Well, the output where normal profit is made is where cost per unit equals the revenue per unit. So in this example, output Q2 would give normal profits because at that output, P2, the price, equals the unit cost. You know, no loss, no profit. They're, they're breaking even. They're covering all of their costs, including opportunity cost. So put simply... Normal profit is the minimum profit needed for a business, a company, a firm to remain competitive and profitable in the market. And Q2 will be the minimum uh, price there for that to be achieved. Here's a handy summary. You make a normal profit when price equals average cost. You make abnormal profit when price is greater than average cost. Some firms make losses, of course. We call that sub-normal profit or economic loss where the price they're charging is less than the average cost. Okay, thank you. 